Hello again. Here we have an older project, the Audi A6. As I'm caught with my actual work, it's getting harder and harder to find more free time to spend on projects like this and to edit them so they can get uploaded to YouTube. For the ones that doesn't know what this is all about, well, it is a general makeover for this Audi A6, as it's for the exterior but also for the interior in the future. In this video I will focus my attention on the rear bumper. This intermediate job will be divided in different parts as I want to make it also a custom piece just like the front bumper. More on the front you can see up in the parts that go from 9.1 to 9.4 series. It is not just about the grill from the front or the diffuser from the back that will be unique, but also the bumpers themselves as far as what I have in mind. I try to get all the paint imperfections out by sanding the bumper as much as I can with the machine, but there remain a few spots and corners where I can do it only by hand.
It was a lot of sanding with the machine on this bumper. Very many imperfections had to be removed. Someone had to do it. So let's keep on going with this project. Preview of the custom rear bumper for the Audi ACES project with a custom paint job. Let's see how it comes out. After I gave the bumper a good wash so I can get rid of the dust that was created by sanding it with the machine, I also cleaned the surface of this piece with some degreaser to remove everything possible that may remain on it. I let the bumper stand in the sun so it dried out naturally and faster. Following up, I sprayed a soft coat of primer or filler, as you might call it, so I can see what flaws there might remain, because there were a few of them. Later, the primer also dried out and I had to start to fine-tune repair the bumper. I applied some putty in some spots. In the end, there were more of them as I thought. Fine sanding the bumper is now the work that I have to do, so we get a fine finish.
surface of the bumper is starting now to take shape, a finished shape. Now it's for the last time of washing and degreasing the bumper in preparing it for the paint job. First will be the color coat in a one or two or three layer and after that the layers of clear coat. Just keep on going. Before the paint job starts, we need to embrace this bumper completely in a fine layer of primer. Let's see how it goes. A little sneak peek you can see here is how the rear diffuser might look like.
Messing up the floor with paint was my fault as I forgot to put some plastic foil. But luckily there are some chemicals which I can clean up. The last night was a long one. I had to finish the paint coats one after the other so it could dry out slowly throughout the night. So that it's a new morning and a new day. We can start fresh with the clear coats to be sprayed on our bumper. I've also cleaned the floor from the red paint and now we have it with plastic foil covered. Let's keep on going to end this project of painting the rear bumper. Let's go! In the end I'm done with spraying also the clear coat, the final stage in painting this bumper and I've reached a very good finish. I'm really proud of how it came out. I have to say that it's better than I expected it. So here are a few shots from the final product of how it came out. So you can tell me in the comments if you like it or not. If you want to see more of this kind of work, please subscribe and like to this channel and I'll see you in the next video where I will presenting the rear diffuser. So keep in touch and God bless you.